in that hoe? Why me crack it? Why me roll? Why me crack that soldier boy? That Superman that hoe? Now why me you? Crack that soldier boy? 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 Why me you? Crack Create a new Xcode project. Let's make it. It doesn't really matter what it is. I, I'm just doing single view application. Call it whatever you want. I'll just call it touch example. Okay, so now. First, let's start by configuring our iPhone.storyboard. So we go to iPhone.storyboard, and what what we want to do is we want to make it so that way when an image is um, touched, then something will happen. So to do that, let's create an image. Uh, type in image. Yeah. Put it in. Enter it. Whatever you want. Okay. Now, now we have to import our image into our project. So we go to Add File to Touch Example and um, select our image located. I'm just doing an image of my cat because. He's fat. So then go to image view and then go to the image section. Type in where the image is. For me, that'd be cat.jpg. And then it loads your image. Okay, let's resize it. Okay. Okay, now I want to make sure that we click this and your interaction is click user interaction enabled. Make sure that's clicked or it's not going to work at all. Now we want to create a label. This is going to be what happens when uh, the cat is touched. So I'm just going to take out all the contents of the label and okay so now we have it basically set so now we go back to our um, app view controller and we don't need to do anything there so just click file new file um, create a new objective C class yeah make the subclass of UI image view and call it image click next Create it. Now once you have your image created, go to your iPhone.storyboard and then you go to your cat and then you go to custom class and you type in image enter. Now we go back to our image.h. We want to create an IB outlet for our text. Let's type in IB outlet and a UI image view and call it image. I didn't mean UI image view, I meant label actually. But change that. Sorry. UI call it text. Okay, now we go to our image.m and this is the important part. Type in void and touches began and now we want to make it so that way when we touch the cat and something like the text will be configured so let me type in text dot text equals you have pet me or whatever you really want it to show and now you go oh you have to type in at because it's not a string and you go to image dot h okay we have everything good so far 
So I'm going to go to iPhone.storyboard, click the image, I'll right click it, and the link text to the label. And to make sure everything's good, good, good. Okay, now we run it. Oh, no. Make sure it's iPhone. I always run it in an iPad by mistake. Now run it in an iPhone. Oh, my computer is so slow. God, come on, let's go. It is so slow. There we go. Finally loaded. And now watch when you click it. Ha! Huh, it doesn't even show the whole thing. Uh, sorry, just gotta go right back to our iPhone that storyboard and make the label big enough to hold as much text as you want it All right. now run it again this time it should work and now when you click it says you have pet me. That, that was pretty cool. The fact is you can really do anything you want inside our void right there. It says touches began. Okay, what I like to do is I like to create or switch to a whole entire another nib file or view. But your choice what to do over there. Uh, I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Any comments would be appreciated and goodbye. Uh,